Father, I thank you for this word that you have given unto us. It is, O oh Lord, your word, not your servant. Therefore, Lord, I ask in the name of the Father to use my body fully and only authorized to speak about your word. Open our spiritual eyes and ears so that we may be able to understand it so that may we do it according to your word and according to your promise, we will become successful and prosperous in our life. Lord, uh, hide me to the shadow of your cross and let, O oh Lord, the divine Holy Spirit be felt in this place. Thank you, Father God, as the Holy Spirit is the revealer of the truth, let the truth set us free. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, kumapay ka muna ng tatlong tao, sabihin mo, the Holy Spirit is upon you. Okay. We may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Wow. So, Kung hindi kinokontrol ng Holy Spirit, hindi tayo magkakasya rito. <laughs> Amen. So, He is the truth and uh, He is the controller and the programmer of our life. Amen. So, the, the one that we are going to study for today, the, the Lord has given me is the truth about the Holy Spirit. He is the revealer of the truth, but who is the Holy Spirit? Why we need the Holy Spirit? And what is the truth about the Holy Spirit? So, uh, would you mind to recite those who knows about Luke chapter 4, 18 and 19? Can you recite it? One, two, go. Set at liberty them that are and recall the last of the Lord year of the Lord. Can you accept that today is the year of the acceptable for the Lord? <laughs> Whenever you accept the word, because when uh, can you can you put it in uh, John chapter uh, in uh, Luke chapter four, verse uh, twenty and twenty one? Would you mind, please? Read it again. Luke chapter 4, verse 20. And then 22. Yung malakas. Di ba kayo natutuwa? <laughs> Once again, verse 23. Want to go? Uh, 22. 23. Okay, go. Huh? Okay, 22 muna, then 23. Want to go? Hindi sila naniwala ano, na si Jesus dumating doon para sa kanila. Hindi ba ito si, jo, si Jesus na kapatid ni, ano ba, sino ba yung kapatid ni, ni Jesus? Sina Maria ba? No? Hindi, meron si Maria is another daughter. Is, uh, di ba ito yung kapatid na kasama natin na anak ni Maria at ni Joseph. Jesus has brothers 
and sisters as well. So remember, he is also the same as I, as you, as every one of us. The only difference is when he read Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 to 3, he claimed that the book was already closed. Kapag meron kayong istorya sa buhay nyo at kinoclose na, huwag nyo nang bubuksan pa. <laughs> Amen? Kaya sinabi niya, this day that the book was already closed. Amen? Why? Because he already fulfilled it because the Spirit of God is upon him. Look what he read in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 to 3. And what he is going to do to you when you have heard his word. Isaiah 61, verse 1. One to go. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance to our God, to comfort the all in mourn. Amen. Sinurito mga broken hearted. Yung mga umiiyak pa dyan because of the heart problem. Today, you will experience the healing physically, mentally, Emotionally, financially, spiritually. Amen. Sa mga nanonood dyan, bear with us because we believe that the Spirit of God is upon you. Kaya nga sabi sa 1 John 4, 4, Greater is He who is in you than the devil who is in this world. Those who receive the Holy Spirit. Now what and who is the Holy Spirit? Let us see the truth about the Holy Spirit. In Joel chapter 2 verse 28, it was prophesied that the Holy Spirit in these days, in this generation will come. Can you read Joel chapter 2 verse 28? And it, it will come to pass. What? Young men shall see visions. And it come to pass, meaning Jesus, when he closed the book, he said, it is finished. And the Spirit is upon you right now. Amen. In this generation, the Holy Spirit will reveal every truth that we needed. You don't need a teacher anymore because he is your teacher, he is your guide, he is your counselor. The only thing that you need is to listen to the word of God. Because the word of God is full of spirit and they are life. Kaya naman sinabi ni Jesus Christ, John chapter 10 verse 10, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Ano ang ginagawa ng magnanakaw? Natural, magnakaw. Amen? And they are spirit. Kaya nga, kapag merong uh, na, nakikita kayo sa Facebook na sinasabi sila rev yung ano, post office or yung they counterfeit the original in order for him to steal. Oh, ingat kayo ha, yung mga nasa multimedia, uh, media, no? social media, makikita nyo yun, mag a sa inyo, na kala nyo yung banko, hiningang kayo ng mga details, 
And then later on, wala na kayong pera sa bangko. <laughs> Why? The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He counterfeit the original. The devil is a counterfeiter. Tandaan nyo yan. At ang ginakounterfeit niya ay para ikaw ay pagnakawan. Physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, spiritually. Sa so, itong mundo natin ngayon, ano, we don't know the truth anymore. Even in the church, the devil lies. The devil is there to tell you about the lies. He is counterfeiting the original. And that is why people are perishing. Because they don't know what they have. The truth is upon you when you receive the Holy Spirit. Look, John chapter 20, I always tell this. John 20, 21, when Jesus arrived again, he said, peace be upon you. Sinabi niya yan sa kanyang mga disciple, ang kapayapaan ay suma sa inyo. The Father has sent me, so I sent you. Ibig sabihin, when you receive the Holy Spirit, you have the objective and the purpose here on earth. Kung papano isinend si Jesus Christ ng Father, the same He will send you. Because you are a vessel of the same spirit what Jesus has during that time. Hello, are you there? <laughs> so, sige nga, tingnan nyo ang John chapter 20 verse 21. Then Jesus said to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father had sent me, even so send I you. So, ibig sabihin, I speak to you again. Before he appeared to his disciples, he appeared already and speak about peace. The peace that passes through all understanding. Hindi yung wala kang kapayapaan, wala ka ng ano, takot na ang nasa puso't isipan mo. Nagpasaksa ka na magpapasaksa ka uli at magpapasaksa ka na naman. <laughs> Amen. At sasabihin sa iyo, kapag hindi ka sumusunod, matigas ang ulo mo. <laughs> Which is true naman. No? Kung malambot yan, kawawa yung may <laughs> utak natin. Sino rito may utak? Tas ang kamay. Sino rito may utak? Tas ang kamay. Lahat ng naniniwala sa science na may utak, tasang kamay. O, bakit na wala? <laughs> If you believe in science, science is a systematized knowledge based on facts and truth. That means, it is factual that you believe something that you can see, that you can smell, that you can touch, that you can feel or hear. Something that you believe that you have in facts. Now, sino na nakakita ng kanyang utak? Taas ng kamay. <laughs> utak ng iba. Pero yung utak mo, hindi mo nakita. Amen. Sino rito na nakaamoy ng kanyang utak? Wala pa? Yun nakarinig na lang ng may utak siya. <laughs> na ba ginagawa kasi ng utak? Nakita niyo ba kung paano siya mag-function? Wala, no? So, hindi mo alam kung paano mag-function ng utak mo. Amen. I can say, wala akong utak kasi according to science, kailangan makita ko. Kailangan marinig ko. Kailangan mahipo ko. Based on facts and truth. But no, we believe something that we cannot see. That is the truth. Amen? 
Even we, we don't see it, but we know that the, there is something na meron ka, therefore, you have to believe. And that is the truth. You don't believe just on fact. You believe by faith. Faith is the substance of the things you hope for. Hebrews 11.1 1. And the evidence of the things you have not seen. You hope for and you do not see. Therefore, you hope that you have a brain. Amen. Amen. It's not, a, <laughs> it's by faith. Amen. It's not by science. Because science proved the other brain, not yours. Amen. What if you don't have brain? <laughs> ano ang mawawala sa iyo kung wala kang brain pero nakakapagsalita ka, nakakapag-function ka normally? What if that happens? Did you see the skull of Jesus Christ or anybody saw the body of Jesus Christ according to the Bible? When he died, he was buried after three days. What happened? Anybody see his body? Anybody see his skull? Anyone who proved that he lies on that? Di ba science, kailangan makita nila, may proof sila, na mga fossil sila, na meron ito. Actually, yung mga dinosaur nga, pinag pirapiraso nila, binuo nila from the imagination, yung dinosaur. At nakita ron nila mga fossils. Do you believe in that? So that is science. So science, if you are going to base also on your faith, faith is greater than science. Because our Lord, was called our God is a God of science. In the beginning, the word was empty. So, if we are going to base on science, we have to base also on faith. Because in the beginning, according to our Bible, the word or the earth is empty and void. Amen? Meaning, wala yung utak, wala, wala yung anything na makikita sa mundo. Ano makikita? Wala. <laughs> Kaya nga wala. Tingnan mo nga Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. The beginning, heaven and the earth. And then and the earth there. was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So meaning, only the Spirit of God moved around. Now, I can tell you, the Spirit is more real than what you can see. Tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo. Totoo ka ba? Sabihin mo nga. <laughs> Tanong mo sige. Totoo ka ba? Are you true? <laughs> no, the truth that will reveal for us tonight is we are created according to the image and likeness of the creator of heaven and earth. That is the truth and that is the fact. Before science, He exists. God is omniscience, meaning omniscience. He knows everything because He do everything. Amen? Now, if God knows everything and do everything, and if He is a spirit, and the spirit of God is upon you, who will not lack knowledge or wisdom? 
Alam mo na kung ano ang tama at mali. Right? You know already how to avoid the lies and accept the truth. The lies of the enemy is for you to attract and to steal and to, to destroy the life has given to you by God. That is what happened in Genesis chapter 1, in Genesis chapter 2, or in Genesis chapter 3, sorry. In Genesis chapter 3, the devil deceived Eve. That is happened. That was happened in the Garden of Eden. The first sin of man is to accept the lies. Kaya kapag merong kasinungalingan na ino-offer sa'yo, like in March chapter 4, verse 3, ano ang offer ni Satan dyan? March 4, 3. Can you read please? Want to go. And when the temper came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command and these stones be made bread. Amen. Sabi sa John chapter 3 verse 12, For as many who received to those who believe in his name, he gave them the right to become children of God. And Jesus accepted that the book was already closed because the Spirit of God is upon him. How about us? Did we close our book and tell to everyone that the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon me? Hello? You must know who you are. Amen. Sabi nyo, I know who you are, uh, who, I know who I am. I know who I am. I know where I belong. I know who created me. So therefore, if you know who you, who you are, you can tell to Satan, Satan, you have no room for me. I am a son of God. Tatanungin niya pa si Jesus Christ? If you are the son of God, turn this stone into bread. Jesus know who he is. Kaya kung hindi mo kilala kung sino yung nasa iyo na tinanggap mo, no? you are not just a born again Christian. Again and again and again. No! You will be born again once you were baptized by water and spirit. You can enter the kingdom of God. But if you have doubt, you are not yet born again. Why? Because you don't know who you are. Your identity must be changed. The reason why Jesus came here is to change our identity. And it happened in John chapter 20, verse 22. He said to his disciples, and he breathed on them, and he said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Now back to John 1, 12. As many as receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave them the power to become a children of God. That is the truth. Amen? So the spirit of truth was come already in Joel chapter 2 verse 28. It was already prophesied before Jesus Christ came. At pinaalala ni Paul in Acts chapter 1 verse uh, verse Acts chapter 2 verse 17 can you can you put it in the screen okay let us read want to go and it shall come to pass in last days said God 
I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Amen. So you shall see vision. No, mabi visualize mo ko ano na mangyayari. Because he is the revealer of the truth and the future. So mabi vision mo kung ano mangyayari sa mga susunod pang mga taon. Bakit? It was already gave into the book that we need to read every day. Matthew chapter 24, he said here, this gospel will be preached throughout the world. Paano marireach ang mundo? By multi uh, social media. Nandyan ang Facebook, nandyan ang Twitter, nandyan ang uh, WhatsApp, nandyan lahat ng social media gamitin nyo for the furtherance of the kingdom of God. Hindi para pag-anuhan lang ng marites. <laughs> marites. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> no? Hindi mo bubuksan ang cellphone mo just to see what is happening to your enemy. Your enemy is like a roaring lion whom shall uh, he, he came here whom to the bar. Amen? Ang, ang gawa ng Diablo ay magnakaw lang. Ninanakaw ang oras mo. Ninanakaw ang ano mo, kalakasan mo. Kasi wala kang gagawin kundi nakaganyan ka lang mag -apon, which I am doing. <laughs> Amen? Aminado ko ron, guilty. <laughs> Amen? Ang multimedia, ginawa yan ng Lord din, no? binigyan ng idea ang tao so that we may be able to spread the one you receive. Hindi ka lang nagre-receive. Hindi ka lang taker. You will have also a part to furtherance of the kingdom of God to spread the good news. The truth behind the lies. Eh, mas pinaniniwalaan natin yung hindi totoo. Right? Pag sinabi mong, ay, ang ganda-ganda mo ngayon, sister. Aba, <laughs> <laughs> tuntuwa ka naman. <laughs> ay, hindi. Slight lang. <laughs> Pautang naman. Ha? <laughs> <laughs> ah? Mas paniniwalaan mo yung ganun, ano? You believe in the lies. Ano? Huh? <laughs> you believe in those things that uh, will be going to leave your uh, emotion, but the truth, no? Hindi mo alam kung totoo yung sinasabi niya o hindi. <laughs> Ako nga nagagalit eh, kapag sinasabing ano? Hindi niyo. <laughs> <laughs> Yun yata napapakinggan eh. <laughs> ano? <laughs> Walang naniniwala, Lord. <laughs> Mabuti naman. <laughs> so, pinasasaya ko lang sa'yo. The truth will set us free. Amen? So, don't, don't, uh, katulad nga nung uh, kahapon, ano, experience ni Pastor Alani. Tumawag siya ng mover, how much? 100. Okay. <laughs> 100. <laughs> Hindi siya makapaniwala. Kasi katotohanan naman, walang 100 na mover na ililipat ang buong gamit mo to another place. Eh, pinicturean niya. Sabi, 500. <laughs> now, after that, nung mamove na, saka sinabing, 1,000. Aba? <laughs> <laughs> eh, alam niyo naman si Pastora pag uh, kwentahan na, no? she's an accountant. <laughs> so, and uh, she loved the truth. And the truth she set free. <laughs> 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 Hindi pa payag yan. 
No, magmakaawa ka pa sa kanya. <laughs> Binista pa. So, ginausap ko, inarabi ko yung ano, sabi ko, that is haram and uh, that is only Saba Mia, kalas, bas. Pasok ako sa kwarto. Bahala kayo dyan. <laughs> ano nangyari? Eh, hindi pa rin, ano, uh, actually, nakipagtawaran pa rin. Pwede ba 20 dirhams additional? <laughs> Ay, sinadol po yung nandun eh. Kaya ako tawa lang ako ng tawa sa loob. <laughs> so, but, but anyway, the, the, in, to cut the story short, pumayag naman. <laughs> Saba Mia. Ay ba? <laughs> so, 700 pumayag naman. And uh, that is the truth. Actually, hindi na sila lugi roon. Sapagkat tinulungan naman sila ng mga kasama natin. Nagbuhat. Amen. Palakpakan nga natin ng Lord sa buhay ni Mark, si Dolpo, at sino pa mga nagbuhat dyan? Ha? <laughs> si Eric, Pastor Eric. So, thank you very much. Kailangan pa namin kayo mamaya. <laughs> so, okay. So, the spirit of truth has already come. And that is the truth. Ang problema lang sa mga tumatanggap. Look what uh, the Bible says in uh, Romans chapter 6.23. Okay? Let us read. Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, if I have a gift with me, is this for you? Say for example, okay, Eric, this is yours. So, is this for Eric or is this Eric's now or not? Huh? Not yet confirmed. <laughs> but I am only confirmed. <laughs> Eric, this is your gift. This is yours. Okay. This will not be Eric if he is not going to receive the gift. That's why the Bible says, whoever receives to those who believe, then he gave the power. John 1, 12. So, it is very clear. For the wages of sin is death. Now, if you don't want the eternity, then remain dead. Remain in your coffins. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. Somebody cough. No, not coffins. <laughs> <laughs> Remain in your dead body. Amen? But if you receive the gift of God, the gift of God is at eternal life and that is the truth if you don't receive it then you will be scared of the things that will kill your body parati mong isipin ay may virus who can escape on the virus if you are eating food every day you don't know who are the people who touch that food or prepare that food for you, for your stomach. And what it is, it is going to destroy everything in your body. Hindi lang naman yung COVID-19 ang nakamamatay. Ang nakamamatay ay ang takot. The fear of not knowing the truth can kill you. Amen? So how to prevent? God is the creator of heaven and earth. Believe in what you do not see. First John 4.4, 4, he said here, greater is he who is in you when you receive the gift of God, the Holy Spirit is the truth. Fear of God 
Uh, what is that? First John. Can you read it for me? Sorry. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you, that he that is in them. So you are an overcomer. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and sound mind. So don't be scared of the news. Ay, may lindol. Ooh, may lindol. <laughs> There's an earthquake. It is written. There will be an earthquake in diverse places in our generation. But you have overcome because Jesus Christ overcame it all. Understand? He did not give us the spirit of fear but of sound mind, of love and power. So remember, when the news came into your ears, that is science. But you have faith inside you. Amen? In your faith, you confess. You are not affected of that because it is already written. I was already warned by the Bible. Amen? Who among you reading the Bible every day? Tas ngang kamay. One, two, three, four. The truth will set you free. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord. <laughs> okay, if you are going to listen to the Word of God every day, then you are guided. By the truth. Look at John 6, 63. What Jesus said to his disciple before he departed here on earth. Read it. One to go. John 6, 63. One to go. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. What is the life? The word. What is the spirit? The word. If you don't have the word of God, then whose word do you have? Every day. Even 30 minutes of your life. Read the word. And listen to the word. And do the word. So that you may become prosperous and successful in life. Joshua 1.8 Continuously, I am telling you because this is the word that Jesus wants us to understand and believe. Amen? Because if you are going to enter the kingdom of God, Jesus will not tell you any word anymore because you are already the living word. You cannot enter the kingdom of God unless you become born of water and spirit. So the spirit will going to submerge you and you are going to walk now according to the word. Because Jesus said, my word is full of spirit and they are life. You cannot hear the word of Jesus Christ anymore because it was already written from Matthew after John. Amen? The gospel is there to understand what Jesus did here on earth. He said, The Father has sent me, so therefore I sent you. So kung papano nabuhay si Jesus Christ dito, ganun din tayo dapat mabuhay. Walang takot at Pinahayag lang ang kabutihan ng Panginoon sa atin. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. And then the manifestation comes. He said, I did not do anything that is not 
from my father. Lumakad siya rito, lahat ng ginawa niya, lahat ng sinabi niya, ito ay pinagawa at sinalita lang ng ama. Because he is in the flesh. 100% he is a human being. But the same as you are, the Spirit of God is within. Yun ang nagdirect sa kanya kung paano siya mapupuhay dito sa mundo. Amen? Mahirap ba? Is it difficult to live with Christ? Of course. Because we are dead. But if we accept the gift of God, the Spirit of God inside us, to man it is impossible, but to God nothing is impossible. Tapikin mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo, wala palang imposible. I can be rich. <laughs> wala palang imposible. But remember, yung riches na tinitingnan ng mga tao is, is not the standard of the riches that God has given us. God has given us dominion more than the riches here on earth. E ano ba kung ang sasakyan mo ay mahaba at malaki? It doesn't matter kung meron kang Ferrari. No? Hindi mo i-compare yun sa sarili mo. Bakit? You can still reach the destination of that Ferrari and that mahabang sasakyan. You know what is that? Metro. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. You don't care. Kung bisikleta lang o ano lang ang uh, daladala mo. If you are going to one place in one direction, no, it doesn't matter about the speed or the time you can go there. Ang importante, makarating ka ron. So, it is not the standard of God what you have physically. What you have spiritually is more important because that is more faster in going to his kingdom rather than you have more physical things here on earth. That is the truth. That is the truth. Hindi ka madadala ng anumang kayamanan mo dito sa mundo, papunta ng langit. Hindi naman sinabi ng Lord na maghirap ka. That's why you have to read the Bible They read this book. Can you put it in Joshua 1.8? Once again, we read that book. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make the way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Observe to do. Not just to observe, go to church every Sunday and observe what pastor is going to tell you. Observe to do. Now, sino gusto magbasa na ng Bible araw-araw? Who wants to read his Bible every day? Raise your hand. <laughs> Lord, is it the truth? <laughs> Send them, O oh Lord, the spirit of truth. Amen. So because we need it. We need it. To observe and to do. It is not for me, actually. It is for every one of us. Not for only uh, that is only for pastor, that is only for the priest, that is only for... No. You cannot do it if you don't meditate it. Who loves Jesus here? Sino nagmamahal kay Jesus? Amen. Tasang kamay. 
Okay? Look at John 14, verse 15. Now you read. One, two, go. If you love me, keep my commands. So how could you keep your command if you don't read the Bible every day? Hello? Huh? How do you know the command of Jesus if you don't read his words? Because his word was already written. He was already, he was already the spirit. The word he said is the spirit and they are life. How could you have life eternal if you were not going to read? The words of Jesus Christ. Hello? Are you still there? So, who loved Jesus again? Raise your hand. Amen. Willing to do his command? Amen. How? Amen. Just meditate. Uh, start meditating from the book of John, um, the book of Matthew, Mark, Look and John. And then you know what Jesus planned for you. Amen? It is your pattern how to live on earth. And that is why the Holy Spirit come. John chapter 16 verse 13. Can, can we read again? But when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak into his own. He will speak only what he hears. And he will tell you what is yet to come. And what it was already written. Jesus Christ's life was already written. And because Jesus said, I did not do anything for my own. I do it because the Father asked me to do it. Amen. Kaya yung healing ng, ng mga may sakit, Hindi kay Jesus yon. It's the works of the Father. The works of the Spirit inside him. He was anointed so that the people will be healed. Amen? Why? He came here to destroy the works of the enemies. Naparito si Jesus Christ to destroy. When he was already destroyed, the plan of the enemies. He said in the cross, It is finished, Father. I accomplished things already. It is done. And when he said that, he breathed his last breath and then, Father, unto your hand, I commanded my spirit. He lived. And that is now we're having the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Receiving the Holy Spirit is very essential to us so that we can enter the kingdom of God. So that we can enjoy his kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. When his disciple asked, teach us how to pray, Jesus said, this is the manner how you pray. Say, Father in heaven, holy be thy name, thy kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven. So it is the same, like when you are in the Philippines or in any countries, you want to go to United Arab Emirates, you will tell to the consulate, I want to go to the to your country. Okay, the consulate will say, come, you are welcome. But you need to have the visa first and your passport with you. The passport and the visa, unless a man be born again of water and spirit, they cannot enter the kingdom of God. So if you don't have the passport and the visa, you cannot enter here in this country or wherever country you want to. You dream of United States of America, 
It's more difficult to get the visa and even though you have the passport. You want to go to Canada the same, Australia the same. Especially the country is the third world country having a difficulty to enter in their kingdom or in their country. Remember, God created heaven and earth, meaning God already exists before the creation of heaven and earth. Understand? Is it in your mind? <laughs> Did you ask, where is God before the heaven and earth? Where is he? Huh? <laughs> he already exists, right? Because if he don't exist, nobody will going to create things like what we are enjoying right now. So before you think of the light, light was already there. Before you think of anything, God has already prepared it and put it into the mind of the people he chooses. So the truth, the idea that you have came from God as well. So, wala tayong ipagmamalaki sa Diyos. Amen? Walang wala kang maipagmamalaki sa Diyos. Kahit na meron kang 100 millions, 500 millions in the bank, when the devil will going to take it from you, they can take it anytime. Look at the businessman before. They are all the same right now. Amen? But glory to God to those who believe, to those who receive Jesus Christ, they did not fall on the trap of the devil. Amen? So remember, things will change, but the Holy Spirit will never change. The Word of God will never change. That's what Jesus said. Everything will be gone. Lahat ng bagay mawawala. But the word of Jesus Christ will never, never be removed. Kaya nga, from generation to generation, until our generation, the word of God is still intact. The devil trying to change it, trying to remove, trying to do something. But you know, ang hindi mawawala ay ang salita na ibinigay na sa atin, sa puso natin. Remember, kahit na takpan yan ng mga religions, kahit na lahat ng mga religions, ganito ang tama, ganito, but the truth is still going to reveal in the person's body. Amen? You cannot hide the truth and the truth will set you free. So in John chapter 16 verse 13, once again, can we read it? Uh, he will guide you into all the truth for he will not speak on his own authority but will speak whoever, whatever he hears and will tell you what is to come. That's why, the reason why I'm asking you to read the Bible because it's too long for us to discuss it every Sunday. In Matthew chapter 24, everything that is happening right now is there. And the second coming of Jesus Christ is very near. I can't believe that uh, now it is July 31. Tomorrow it's already August. Amen. Mid of the year. And after that, andyan na naman ang, hihila na naman ang November, December, 
mga bear. Amen? September, October, November, December, then another year. If we are not prepared, how are we going to have going to face the truth when the truth comes face to face? Wala na tayong face mas. Face to face na. Face to face with the truth, the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why the topic for the next month is preparation. Are you prepared? Are you excited to be prepared? When Jesus will come, Lord, I am prepared. I am here. I can see you face to face. No shame. Not like Adam. Adam, when God called him in the garden, Adam, where art thou? What Adam did, they hide on the tree and put the leaves in their nakedness. I am here, Lord. I am hiding because I am naked. Who told you that you are naked? Did you eat the fruit in the garden which I tell you not to? <laughs> Instead of telling the truth, he escaped what he did. Because of this woman, you gave it to me. <laughs> she is the culprit. That's the reason why. <laughs> no, he did not say, forgive me, Lord, I am weak. In obeying your word. He did not ask forgiveness. Rather, he point his finger to the creation that came from himself. Remember the Bible, Eve was taken from his ribs. God did not give, or God did not give a breath to Eve. He gave breath to Adam only. And Eve did not came from the dust. Eve came from Adam's rib. Bakit ituturo ni Adam si Eve na siya ang may kasalanan? He suppose the truth set him free if he asked forgiveness of what he did. Right? Because he is a sinner. He, he sinned because he disobeyed God. He did not sin because he, he killed someone or he do uh, adultery during that time. No, no adultery during that time. He and only Eve is living in the paradise. Wow. Who wants to live in the paradise? <laughs> Nakedly. Huh? Meaning, you are nothing in the eyes of God. Whatever you put, whatever clothes you have, no matter what your color is, it doesn't matter to the eyes of God. No partiality, no discrimination in the eyes of God because He created you according to His image and likeness. Therefore, if you saw different color, even in your, in your uh, office mates, no, don't look them down. Look them up because they are also created by the living God. And the Spirit of God also lives in them if they receive the gift of God. The gift of eternal life. And that is the truth. Huwag kayong magiging mababa sa mga puti. No? Don't discriminate yourself if your, your uh, boss is from western country. No, don't discriminate yourself. We are all equal. 
created with eyes, with nose, with ears, with lips. So stand up according to what God created you. That's why the devil will tell, if you are the son of God, he will going to try to deceive you that you are not the children of God. Amen? Tell to your neighbor, I am a son of God. It doesn't matter your sex, what your sex is. You are the son of the living God. Because he did not make female. God made only male. And from that male, he took from his what limb and he made female out of Adam. Therefore, we are all sons of God. Amen. So remember, preparation of the bride is near. Amen. So we need to be prepared. The coming of the groom. Is it the groom or the bride that will come? Sino rito nakakaalam ng Bible? The groom or the bride? Huh? Who will come? The groom or the bride? Amen. Because Adam, first Adam died. The second Adam is coming back again. Amen. Who is the second Adam? He is Jesus Christ. No matter what religion you belong, you believe that Jesus Christ is the only one who will come back to judge the living and the dead. Who are the living? Those who believe and receive the gift. Who are the dead? Those who do not want to receive it. Mark chapter 16, verse 16. Can you put it in the screen first? Okay? Read, one to go. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. But whoever does not believe will be condemned. Baptized of what? Baptized of water and spirit. You can enter the kingdom of God. But whoever do not believe and receive, then they are already condemned. And that is the truth. Amen? He will guide you in all truth. And the last thing is the authority came from the Father. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, let us see where the authority of Jesus Christ came. Can you read it? One to go. Then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. So all the authority in heaven and in earth has been given to our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why when he came to his disciples, he said, Receive the Holy Spirit. The Father has sent me, so I sent you. Amen? So, wala tayong reason para hindi natin ipahayag ang mabuting balita kung nareceive natin ang ating Panginoon sa ating sarili. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you will receive power. Acts 1.8 And when you receive power, the Holy Spirit will be upon you. Okay? See, uh, what power, what is the works of the Holy Spirit unto your life? Acts 1.8 But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. You cannot be a witness of a place or somebody and telling you that he is great or that place is great when not the Holy Spirit alone kaya kapag may nung nangyayari sa buhay mo nakakaiba at sinasabi mo the Holy Spirit 
is revealing to me something great. Then you can testify here that you were changed not because of your ability, not because of what you have. You were changed by the Word of God. It is the Spirit that gives power. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, He will tell you everything, the truth. So the truth will set you free. John chapter 8 verse 32. The truth will set you free. But you don't want to accept the truth. Accept the lies of the enemies. Then remain dead. The judge will come when you receive the Holy Spirit. You will receive power to tell to the people, to be a witness that God has changed you. It is not the pastor that can change you. No. It is the word of Jesus Christ. That's why if you want change in your life, this is the time for you to read and follow what Jesus did. Our church is nothing without the Holy Spirit. Our church is just a building if you do not have people like you. Because you are the church. You are the temple if you bear the word of God inside you. Remember what you say, what you believe, what you confess, what you possess. This morning I want you before we depart about the willer of the truth, the Holy Spirit, I want you to examine and change Check once again how far you are, how close you are to our Father. Are you already having this intimacy? in talking to him every day. Close your eyes, bow your head. I want you to think your position. Do you have the Holy Spirit that will go in to convict you and to tell to the Lord? Because the Holy Spirit was, has came as a advocate as a comporter in your life. Hindi lang siya tatanggapin mo dahil meron kang hinihiling sa kanya. No. He must live inside you and follow what the Spirit is telling you. The word that have come in the mouth of Jesus, they are full of Spirit and they are alive. Now think about it. Jesus said, the greatest commandment is this, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. And the same is the second, to love thy neighbor as yourself. See, do you love Jesus as our question this morning? He said, yes, I do. 
do you do his command because he said this is who who loves me is the one doing my commandments and if you are doing his commandments it must manifest in your life prosperity is not just having a good life prosperity is having Jesus inside you the reason why we want you to be prosperous so that you can show to the people how generous your father is it is not for you to keep but to share the generosity of the Father. How He loves you. You must love your neighbor as well. You cannot give any love to others if you don't have the love of the fathers unto you. But only if you show your love to Him show the works by your deeds by obeying every single word of Jesus Christ now the Lord is operation is the doctor if you want healing he can heal you right the woman who was suffering with the issue of blood. She said in herself, if only I can touch the clock of this man, I will be healed. Imagine the faith of that woman because of the word that she heard that Jesus heals the sick she tried every effort without shame to be near to Jesus to touch his garment and her feet gives her healing this morning kung meron kang gustong pagalingin ng Lord sa iyo, taas mo ang kamay mo. Physically, mentally, financially, spiritually, emotionally. Yes, just raise your hand. Close your eyes. Bow your head. Just raise your hand. Wakang maya, wakang titingin sa kaliwa o sa kanan mo. Don't look in your right or you're in your left, because the people beside you cannot help you. The people beside you is the same as you are right now. While our uh, worshiper is worshiping. Sige, kausapin mo, Lord. Lord, I want healing today. Heal my emotion. Heal my mental problem. Heal my physical problem. Caused by spiritual problems. And after healing this, Lord, let the manifestation of your word be unto me. Financially so that I may be able to help others who are financially ill also. Yes. The Lord is going to bless you internally today so that your physical manifestation will come 
He will bless you even your finances so that you can be able to help others, other people who are financially ill. Yes. Yes, Lord. Confess your sin, yes. Confess it. The Lord is here. I can sense His presence right now. He's changing and operating your heart right now. Like David says, Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew the right spirit upon me. David sing not only to the Lord but also to the human being and he was tell the Bible said he is a man after God's heart because he asked forgiveness and cleanliness of his heart now my brothers and sisters Jesus is with you Jesus heals the broken heart just only receive his spirit he said ask anything in my name and I will do it you don't have to do anything but ask and you shall receive seek and you will find knock and the door shall be open unto you operation in your heart only you and the Lord knows the truth and he said the truth will set you free just talk to him talk to him and receive the Holy Spirit let your spirit come in power Stand in your feet right now. If you want prayer, special prayer, come forward. I will pray for you. Don't worry. Don't look. 